today we're gonna get together and instead of singing, we're gonna do something a little different. We're going to do some kind of cool, fun drumming patterns here together. And did you love our drums? <laughs> They're super cool, right? My drum was a book and some spoons. Liz had like a container that we have like split peas in, lentils, you know? And we found some of those really fat knitting needles. Actually, if you want to see those thin, um, the thin metal knitting needles make really nice sticks. We have so many fun um, things at home you can make great rhythms in. Right now, people usually say, oh, they get your pots and pans or the spoon and stuff. But I'll tell you something, pots and pans and a spoon, I don't know how it's going to be. Like, if you're outside, fine. But and that's going to be super loud yeah. because it's like metal on metal. So I don't really suggest doing that with um, doing a metal spoon and a metal pot. It's going to be really loud and people will be annoyed with you. So you can like go in your room and you can, if you've got somebody to do it with at home, it will make it fun. If you've got at least two people. Even like that. Yeah. Just like, so Lizzie found this was, this was like a bag with glittery bags. Just scratching it has a cool sound. So we're going to show you some other cool sounds that we've discovered. Right? Um, shoe boxes work really well. You get a shoe box. It's a great drum. Okay? Now you can get a, a jar of rice. Now, the thing with this jar, I don't know if you can hear it so much. It's a very subtle sound. It's a nice sound. If you got like a bigger group of people, it's always nice to have this shaker. Or you can But if you have it in like a and see this is a glass jar with a metal lid, when you do it like that, it keeps the sounds. All about the sounds. Just try sounds. Try sounds. Look, we have this is an art kit. And when you take this art kit, it's all bumpy. With like a spoon. Okay, Lizzie, you try it here. Do something with I'm gonna give it a stick. Not the stick. These are knitting needles, but uh so let's try something with the knitting needles. What well, I don't know if you oh, can hear that. Yeah. Together. Oh, Got a new one in there. Take a look at what we do. Can you guys see this okay? I hope so. So here, I use Pa's pieces, okay? So Pa is the, we call it the quarter note or quaver, okay? It is the note that most usually goes along with the beat. So you got a beat, just a little beat. That makes it um, 
And you know it's the fact that there's two bars there. You see? There's two bars that join them. Okay? Four with one bar are still two peaks. They're four two peaks. But four with two bars across changes it. it makes them super fast, twice as fast. And we call them two peaks. Two peaks. Two peaks. Two peaks. Two peaks. Two peaks. That's my school. They call it semi demi All right, yeah. So these are called semi demi quavers or 16th notes. Okay. Or, um, and then in, if you're like, like me as an instrumentalist, I learned saying one E and a C and a B and a four E and a, and this is one and two and three and four and, but we're not going to use the ands, we're not going to use the counting, we're going to just use Right. Cool. So now what do I have up here? I hope you guys can see it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's backwards. Well, let's see. I hope it doesn't turn out backwards, but let's just try it. So what I have here on the top line here, I've got ta, 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 ta. See, when you can, when you do it with the ta, 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 we're going to use a shoe box. box. That works well. All right. So this kind of thing. Now when you're doing tika tikas, here, I want you to use a spoon for this one, and I'm going to use the spoon. Okay. You can use a spoon. So you play this rhythm, the top one. Go ahead.
I signaled that time. We didn't decide. We didn't say, hey, let's do it this many times. I just signaled. I did it something different. So you guys come up with an agreement of what's the signal. Now, can you just play that rhythm again that you did? You remember it? Okay, you did the same. Wait. That's true. Okay, you can't even remember that. Oh, that's okay. But what she did was she started kind of similar like this. She didn't start with a lot of um, busy notes. So I put the busy notes. I I put the busy notes in the beginning. She put the busy notes at the end. Okay. Play around with it, and you want to get a pattern together. All right, and make it like it's got to be. It's got to go in patterns. You do patterns. Okay. So let's try a couple of patterns, some more. What um, what instrument do you want to play? Do you want to play the, the lentil, maybe? Want play the lentil. She wants to play the lentils. Do you want to play the ones with your hands or with spoons, or what do you want to do? Oh, you want, you, you want, I, okay, you can okay, use the spoon. And I use the spoon. All right, so I'm going to do this instrument. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to signal the change pattern. And my signal is going to be one. <coughs> Two, three, four. So I'm going to stop my pattern and I'm only going to play a beat. That's my signal to changing. And then I'm going to let you begin the new, a different pattern. Okay? I'm just going to play a beat until you can change the pattern and then I will think of something to fit in. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Ready? Go.
Yeah, but that's not something you can control. Oh, yeah. So you want something that you can control. You want something you can control, okay? So, like, scraping along. I can control that really well, right? Uh, you want those rhythms you control. In between your patterns, just go straight beat. And you can look at each other with the bait, and then you can uh, signal each other with your eyes, or just say, hey, you start. You do a rhythm next first, and just keep trying it and experiment around, and it can be real fun. All right, and if you really want to, you could build a rhythm like this. So my Stockdale students know how to do that pretty well already. Build it in fours, okay? Four beats. Build rhythms of four beats and six beats. That's all we've been doing is four beat rhythm, okay? Um, all right, have fun. Let us know how it goes. And if you get some cool grooves going, make a video and send it to us. That'd yeah. be super fun. All right. Bye. Bye for now.